So you've heard of Lightroom, Photoshop, and Luminar Neo, correct? But have you heard of Aperty? Made by the same people behind the formidable Luminar Neo, but with a focus on advanced portrait editing. The results? Are pretty awesome. And the best part is that this platform is not just a standalone editor, it's also a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. So it's not designed to change your existing workflow, but rather to integrate with it to enhance, improve, and make things a whole lot quicker. Check this out. So here's a quick look at the dashboard. And if you want to follow along with specific features of this editor, then use the chapters on the playhead below. Over on the right hand side is the menu. Working our way down, we have presets where we can add built-in or custom presets. The retouch ones are quite impressive. I'll show you those later in the video. Then we have masking, which covers objects like sky, background, people, and the standard linear and radial gradients, etc. All of the cropping tools, pretty standard as well. Below that is the essentials module. And if you're familiar with Lightroom Capture One, then these will look and feel very similar. But then we come to the business end of Aperty, the retouching panel. And the great thing is that you don't need years of retouching experience to use Aperty. It does all of the work for you. And you'll have noticed the three girls on the screen, which have been identified by the software automatically. Now you can choose to work on all three girls at the same time, but I'd like to show you the individual people editor because we do have three obvious skin types here, the acne in the middle, freckles on the left and skin pigmentation on the right. I'm going to work on the girl with the spots just to see how powerful this editor can be. Let's just close everything down so we can see what's on offer. Skin blemish removal, increasing this to 100%, instantaneously eradicates virtually all of her acne and spots. And down here we have a before and after slider, which reveals what Apathy is capable of in just one click. But hold on, there's a lot more to come. Freckle removal will look at the girl left of picture shortly. Details will remove completely or naturally bring back skin texture without reintroducing the skin acne. And I'm going to leave it on the default 50%, which I think looks perfectly fine to me. Below the blemish tab, we have skin wrinkles. This girl doesn't have any, so I'll show you another example in just a moment. Face skin. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Now skin smoothing is something I've struggled with in previous editors. Because it can make the subject look overly processed and give the appearance of some kind of porcelain doll. Thankfully, not with Apathy. If we zoom in on her forehead, the skin smoothing feature has not only evened out the skin tones in a frequency separation style technique, but it's put back a natural skin texture. And this kind of blew me away the first time I tried this. With just one slider, we have an almost perfect professional skin retouch. And these kind of results would take on average 20 to 30 minutes to perfect manually. Apathy did it in under a second. It even left those stray hairs intact. So what's next? Let's look at the dark circles under her eyes. This model does have slightly pronounced eye bag, so let's increase this slider to around 25% and do a quick before and after. A nice, subtle, and natural result. Face brightening does what it says on the tin. This will be a personal preference. For me, just a 10% bump gives us good overall exposure on her face. And lastly, shine removal is going to deal with those raised areas like nose bridge and cheekbones. Let's just demo 100%. Again, these results can look like an advertisement for makeup foundation. Reducing down to 30% gives us a more natural effect for my money. A quick before and after. Now let's work on her eyes. Now I'm a big fan of this feature called eye whitening. It just gets rid of the redness and results in good color separation from the skin. Eye enhancements lift those shadows nicely and bring back the browns. But we can take this one step further. Up here we have the iris drop down menu which gives us the standard eye colors. Let's choose brown. Obviously this is too much, but we can control the iris visibility with the accompanying sliders and do a quick before and after. So the mouth, she doesn't have any teeth showing, but the lip area zooming in reveals a touch of dryness. Lip smoothing will iron out these lines nicely. Then we come to makeup. And this is where you can be creative as you like. In the blush section, we can work on introducing color into her cheeks or cheeks and nose. 
For my money, I don't think this picture needs any because down here, in addition, we can work on contour and highlights, which is going to shape the cheekbones and nose. Let's try 50% and do a before and after to see the difference. If you think this is too strong an effect, we can feather out to your taste. Highlights will enhance the raised areas of the face like the cheeks, chin and nose. Let's try 50% and the same for the feathering. Eyeliner, another way to play with creativity. This would maybe favor an image that already has vibrant makeup. Not for this particular image though. Eyebrow enhancement, pretty self-explanatory. Hers are well-defined already, so I'm gonna leave this alone. Finally, lips could use a little darkening to define the shape. And the final piece of the puzzle is body skin. Now you'll notice that this is only available for all people in the image, not individual persons. Not really sure why, but let's change it to all people in the scene and see what 100% gives us. That's just smoothed out the skin tones nicely without touching the freckles on the other two girls. Pretty impressive stuff. So let's see where we've come from using the handy reveal slider. That's very good. Now there is a small spot on the shoulder here which the AI probably mistook for a freckle. No problem, we can use the erase and clone stamp to sort that and gone. So let's look at the individual girl with the beautiful freckles. And what impressed me most about this software is its ability to interpret spots from freckles. Using the blemish removal tool deals with the imperfections on her chin, but completely leaves the freckles intact. However, if we did want to dial back the freckles, we can do this also. I like the freckles, so they can stay. Skin wrinkles, now she does have a few lines under her eyes and that cheeky smile line. So let's see how Apathy handles those. Let's go with 50%. Pretty decent actually. Now let's try 100% on the eyes slider. Same too with the smile line. And that's a gorgeous result, very natural. Face skin smoothing, just 30% I think. And a touch of dodging around the eye bags just lifts those areas perfectly while keeping skin texture intact. Lastly, let's see what we can do with the lady over on the right. How does the AI perform with skin detail that needs to be left alone? Pretty good as it turns out. No major changes around the eyes, which is correct. Maybe dial back to about 80%. Some face skin smoothing to even out the skin tones, leaving the texture intact. And finally, a touch of eye whitening completes this retouch. I have to say, really impressed so far. So what else is on offer within the menu? The creative module looks interesting. I'd like to add a vignette to this image. How about negative 70 and the roundness all the way to 100%. Really draws the eye towards the faces. Now the LUT or lookup table effects are color grading overlays. Slightly different to presets, which is something you'd perform first. These can be applied after the edit. For me, it's between Beijing and Ushuaia. Let's go with that. And of course you have the ability to increase the intensity of the LUT or reduce it. I'll settle on 25%. High key is defined in photography by soft, brighter light, which evens out skin tones. Just a touch required in this scene. And we'll look at light control and portrait bokeh in just a tick. Finally, I'm going to add a couple of masks to sort the background and the girl's shoulders, which have been darkened by the vignette. Clicking the background mask correctly identifies the background, not too difficult. Then we can enter the essentials module to tweak the temperature and add some warmer tones. Also, let's create a brush mask and paint over the dark shoulder. Using the exposure slider, we can bring that shoulder back and that looks good. However, there is another way we can deal with local exposure and it's with the dodge and burn tool on the top row here. Choosing dodge, we can paint over that dimly lit area and then control the amount using the corresponding slider. And if we wanted to, we could perform any last basic adjustments using the essentials tab like an S curve, but I'm happy where it was. And that completes this multi-person retouch. And I think you'll agree that the results speak for themselves with particular focus on that impressive skin smoothing tool. So you've seen the standalone application in action. Let's see how we can implement the power of Apathy into our existing workflow using the Lightroom plugin. So here's a headshot that I took a few weeks ago in the studio, and I've performed a few basic adjustments. 
So all I'm going to do is right click and choose Edit In, Apity, Edit with Lightroom Adjustments, which opens up the Editor plugin. And to all intents and purposes, it looks and functions in exactly the same way as the standalone. This time I'm going to apply a built-in professional preset. And there are lots to choose from. Colors by Julia Trotti, or we have creative presets. For this particular edit, I'll be choosing from the retouch menu and makeup. And let's go with red lips, which really complements the model's red top. Now we can make any changes to the existing preset with a bump on the shadow slider. How about a blemish removal, skin smoothing, and finally body skin smoothing, which irons out the tones even further. And simply click apply, which sends it back to Lightroom as a brand new TIFF right alongside the original raw file. Couldn't be easier. This for me is a bit of a game changer in terms of speeding up the workflow process for a portrait session. Now the creative side of Apity takes some of the brilliant techniques and features available in Luminar Neo and implements them into this portrait focused editor. Here's one of my portraits using a mix of studio light and ambient light. I've created a custom preset which enhances the contrast. Zooming in shows the laughter lines around his eyes have been reduced down and general skin retouching with color correction has been applied. Now let's add some creative lighting control, starting with the amount slider to around 40%. And within light customization, we can choose from various textured shapes like shutters or tree shadows. I'll leave this without texture for this demonstration. Let's add some light contrast. It's a touch too overpowering, so we can bring down the depth of the pattern. Increase the general brightness, which is starting to look more realistic a touch of smoothness, and finally the scale slider will enlarge or reduce the pattern size. I think I'll settle on 14%. And with the click of a button, we've gone from a totally unedited raw file to a preset edit to a creative lighting effect. And the fun that you can have with these tools is endless. You can place up to five of the light sources and put them anywhere on the image. Let's take a look at the impressive portrait bokeh effect. This is a self-portrait from ooh, four or five years ago. And zooming in shows us that this image is focused across the entire frame. But what if we wanted a natural looking blurry background? Well, we can use the amount slider and a quick before and after. And you'll notice Apathy has done a good job of keeping the foreground focused. We have a few options like edge correction, which will crisp up or soften the portrait against the background. Brightness will offer increased subject isolation. Zooming in tight does reveal some areas missed by the mask. This is not an exact science. However, we do have mask editing to refine the edges. Choosing defocus and painting over the offending items will perfect the bokeh effect. Finally, we can make sure everything in the foreground is focused using a soft wide brush click save and enjoy the results. There have been many times in the past where I could have used this kind of technology. The AI engine speeds up this process by about 20 or 30 minutes. Now retouching on its own is all well and good, but in today's demanding schedule for portrait photographers, a fast workflow is key to a successful business. And that's where batch automation comes into play. Within this studio session, we have 30 raw images showing body skin in all of them. The first image, I've already created an edit and retouch profile for this model. Using some essential adjustments like an S-curve and color changes, applied a skin blemish removal, skin smoothing, and face skin color correction. Eyes, I've enhanced them to make them sparkle and shine. I've shaped the face with a touch of contouring and finally smoothed out the body skin, resulting in a natural professional retouch. I mean, just look at those eyes pop right off the screen. But what if we wanted to roll out this edit across the entire gallery of images? We can either create a new preset, call it JV, then either select an individual image or multiple images and just apply the preset. Or we can copy the original retouch edit and select all images and simply paste the edits. In real time, each image gets the professional retouch applied and it's quick, probably 15 or 20 seconds for a gallery of 30 images. Let's zoom in on another image to see the results. And these can now be delivered to the client in record time. 
For my workflow, having the ability to apply a retouch right from within Lightroom as a plugin is very appealing. Again, Apity doesn't aim to change your existing workflow just to make it a whole lot better and quicker. Now this editor has been made available as a one-time purchase, which means there is no credit system. You pay for the app, you get the full version, no questions asked, and it comes with one year of updates. Or you could go with the subscription version and get the updates as soon as they come in. Either way, Apity is available on your local device for offline use, so nobody can access your work. And this is great for people with concerns about privacy for, say, higher end clients. Right now, there is a Spring Serenity offer for 50% off until the end of March. So you better get in there quick smart. There is a seven day trial that you can do. And when you come to realize that enough's enough and you need this piece of software in your life, I have a 10% discount code and you can get one month extra for free. So it's all a really good deal. I'll pop all of the links in the description below. So don't forget to click on those. Anyway, I hope this video has inspired you to create some of your own portrait magic. Apity, in my opinion, is worth it alone just for the skin smoothing feature. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out as a content creator. I'll see you on the flip side.